All right, what a had an absolute mechanical meltdown of the internet here. Right when we went live, everything just stopped. <laughs> everything, phones, tablets, uh everything, man. It was crazy. Anyways, we are back. Hello. Yes, this is the High Read Gaze Note Plus. Uh oh, took my dad to Roger Waters in Vancouver. What is what is that? What is Roger Waters? Roger Waters. Oh, it's a guy. Oh, cool. English musician. Nice. Never heard of him. All right. Yeah. Uh, what's going on, everybody? This is Peter with the weekly live showcase on Goody Reader. And we have the High Read Note, uh, Gaze Note Plus C. Funnily enough, <laughs> between yesterday when we did an unboxing and today, I don't even know what I should say. Yeah, I guess I, I have to say this. Uh, Pink Floyd. Oh, yeah. I Yeah, I know Pink Floyd. I don't know. It's like, you know, um, you know, Metallica. I can't name you every single, you know, um, name and surname in Metallica or uh, Rolling Stones. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know all the names and surnames. Between yesterday and today, this is discontinued. What are you doing to us? What are you doing here, guys? So... This, if you don't know, is the first color e-reader released almost all year. Okay, there was the Nova Air C uh, by Onyx. And then there was the Big Me devices that are still just using the same 10.3-inch screen. So like the uh, the uh, B1 Max Plus color, the Ink Note color, etc. But like in terms of like a small form factor ebook reader note taker kind of thing, this is the second color e-reader released all year. And, um, yeah, uh, compare that with 2021 where 10 color e-readers were released. Yes. And I guess you could maybe count that weird, uh, kids shark Chinese e-reader we just got like, I don't know, four days ago or something, but yeah, this is it. And it's discontinued. We emailed them and we said, Hey, hi, read, uh, thanks for the sample. You know, what do we do? Where, where's the link? How do we sell it? And they're like, Oh, that's discontinued. I'm like, what? And they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, we're not making it anymore. I'm like, you you just released it. What happened? And there's all these things. There's the logistical issues and there's the, um, uh, you know, chip shortages and um, energy crisis and just literally every possible thing that could go wrong went wrong. High Reads okay. They have a bunch of units in their lineup. They have the X, they have the, the Gaze Note Plus, and then they have the Gaze Note Plus C. This one discontinued. And, um, yeah, they discontinued a bunch of cases too, like the fabric cases. They're all discontinued. I don't know what happened. Really, really weird. Uh, before we get into that, I have to show you guys something because it's the little unboxing thing we usually do. Now, I know what it is. I, I, I'm I almost like 98% sure what it is because the one of the logistics directors emailed us yesterday. So this is an Amazon package. And uh, it's still sealed and everything. Haven't taken the address labels off or anything. I know what it is. I know what it is because, well, he emailed us yesterday and said, here it is. <laughs> so just in case I'm going to peek. Yeah, okay, I know what it is. This is really cool, and we will obviously do a full uh, unboxing. But look, it's one of the things that uh, came out recently. The Paperwhite 16 gig. It might not be a big thing to a lot of you guys because it's just a Paperwhite. Like, oh, it's just a size variation. But it's still important because these are one of the two huge announcements that Amazon made in the the past week. And that was the uh, 16 gig Paperwhite variant and the new Kindle Basic. Unfortunately, the Kindle Basic is not here because it is not released yet. It doesn't release for like another month, but that's really cool. And I got some other stuff that I grabbed from receipt. I, I think actually they need this in the studio. I, I actually, when I grabbed it, I was like, oh, I'm gonna do a video on it. But then I just realized while I'm doing this, they can't do anything because the unboxing usually I take care of. Like they don't need to do B-roll or anything till I unbox it. So that's really what happened. Got a couple other things here. I'm just going to see what it is before I show you. Yeah, I can't show you that. <laughs> One of those is like NDA kind of stuff. What is this? Oh, cool. Oh, okay. Yeah, Wacom was talking to us. Okay, that's cool. Wacom was talking to us about some new tips they had. These are white tips slash gray, and they're felt, and they replace the stock uh, tip 
for Wacom pens. That's really cool. We're not going to do a video on it because it doesn't warrant a video. But that's really cool. Nice. Yeah, because most, if not all, the e-reader tips are, uh, the, the um, uh, stylus tips are black. And these ones are a white felt composite. That's really nice. I wonder what they feel like. I'm going to have to check that out. Yeah, paperweight's coming up, guys. We'll uh, definitely do definitely do something on that. Here's the high read. This is, what a disappointment. It looks so good. And it's Google Play. And it's an SD card. Why'd you discontinue it? That's so silly. Oh, where's Google Play? Oh, I think I gotta enable it. The uh, device settings. Nah, I'll find it. I'll find it. How many people are watching right now? Probably not a lot of people because we had that, we had that little hiccup. Let me just check. How many people are watching today? Because I only see Steven here. Steven, Steven, Steven. Steven Prosser. What do we got here for watchers? How do I find it? Oh, can't even find it here. Anyways. Um, oh, here it is. Oh, 10 people. Oh, hey, guys. <laughs> Where's all the comments? Yeah, so um, I think it's somewhere here. I can't remember where, but it does have a enable google play these guys have yeah steven i know you're watching uh these guys haven't figured out um what do you go oh b v s schaefer these guys haven't figured out out of the box google play mz okay well all I, all I had to do was say say something and now you guys are saying something where is there it is google frame google frame google frame work go like this to bind the gsf id i'm gonna stop using this pen i'm just gonna use my finger the pen works great under the note taking, which we'll show you in a sec, but it doesn't really work great. Looks like 12. Looks like 12 won it. Oh, 12 people. Oh, nice. Well, that's even better. Two extra people. Bind device to Google account. All right. And then got it. And then Google account binding. Oh, you have to switch cameras because I don't want you to see my password. Hey, the heck? Hey. Yeah, so um, this is a really cool device because it has Google Play. It's got an SD card, which that combination, color Google Play SD card. Big me, ink, goody reader, ink note color. Right? Because the A7CC had an SD card by Hisense, but it doesn't have Google Play. Um, and then the Nova Air C has Google Play and a color screen, but it doesn't have an SD card. This might be one of the only devices under $700 you could get with Google Play and an SD card in color with a note-taking layer. I don't think that combination of things exists. What do we got? We got the Inknote color. That Duh, Does the Inknote color have an SD card? Someone tell me. I can't remember. Does the Inknote color or the Pocketbook... Co well, the Pocketbook color is discontinued. That doesn't matter. Is the Inknote color... Discontinue, right? BVS, man. If you, ridiculous. I'm not even joking, man. We finished the unboxing, so we uploaded it, and we said to um, Hisense, hi, sorry, Hi Read, we said, hey, um, the unboxing's finished, and they're like, oh great, and I'm like, so cool, yeah. So, so we're gonna sell these. You know, is everything is everything all good? And they're like, oh, it's discontinued, and uh, that news was uh, uh, very unexpected. Because this is a brand new unit. If you Google this or go on YouTube, um, it's it's like there's no results for it. And the only ones are like Taiwanese reviewers and stuff like that. And they just did it like, you know, maximum of, of maybe three or four weeks ago when they got their samples. So I don't know what's going on with that. That was crazy, man. Freaked me right out. That's never happened that quick before. That has never happened that quick. How does that happen? It is a combination of literally everything that is what is going on right now. So, you know, energy problems, chip shortages. Um, uh, I don't imagine it's a screen problem because 7.8 inch color screens are pretty normal now. Ink Note Color is doing it. Uh, Onyx Books, Nova Air C. Oh, I got to confirm on my Sony Xperia that it is me. Uh, where is it? Oh, here it is. Yeah. Yes, it is me. I allow. And it should be good now. Let's see. 
I'm gonna turn the glow light down. Turn glow light down. Where's the glow light? Oh, I gotta click on the glow light. Yeah, so MZ, it's just like everything that happened at the same time. It was really bad. Okay, so I'm not a robot. Okay. And then register. Hey! Okay, device registered. Yeah, so um, everything went down, and it's just it's terrible because uh, Hi Read is a um, kind of an up-and-comer company. They're a Taiwanese company, which means they have a lot of Taiwanese language books, of course, but they also have different you know, languages, because in Taiwan, they speak English. So uh, it's very nice that they have, you know, a very robust bookstore. And, you know, Hyreed still alive, so you can buy the other units. You just can't buy the color one. So we'll go into the notes, because that's basically what you guys all want to see, because it's a note-taking unit. You got shapes, you got um, uh, pen, fountain pen, pencil, and highlighter, and you have a bunch of different colors, which is really nice. Now, something weird that Hyreed is doing, I don't know why they're doing this. You see all these elements up top? They're all gray. The, the undo and the redo and the pages are gray. And you click on these, drop down. It's all gray. It grays out. It's like, oh, I can't touch it. No, you can. I don't know why it's gray. Very weird. Seriously. Gray means in the world of UI, user interface means it's not available. Look, it's gray. Oh, I can't. And if you look at it, it actually shows up as black and then goes gray. Watch. Black, gray. Oh no, shapes I can't do. Yeah, you can. You just click on it, and it's totally fine. You can make a square. You can make the square bigger. You do whatever you want, because it's totally fine. Why is it gray? I don't get that. We're going to have to contact them. Seriously, look at that. So it's just grayed out, but you can totally click on everything. Um, so uh, yeah, uh, this is unfortunate, because right when we were steamrolling through High Read, they just sent us the gaze note. They just sent us the... Um, the gaze note plus C, the one in question right now, everything's going really well for them. They got some nice stuff and they discontinue the most important unit in their roster, the, the color. And this is a fan. This is fast. That's fast. And I'm not even on a two mode. You can turn on a two mode. It'll be even faster. And I'm using a, uh, I reader pen. I love, oh no, I fly tech pen. I love this pen. I really do. It's really nice. I don't like I fly tech particularly. They're kind of not a great unit, and they're very resistant to working with other companies. But man, what a great pen. I love it. Look at that color overlap, too. It's great. It, like, shows you a little bit of a translucent, and then it, like, you know, triggers. And you go like that, and you refresh. Look at that. That looks so nice. That is beautiful. Look at that color. It's not coming off on camera nearly as good because it's coming from... You know, the screen, to a webcam, to YouTube, to OBS, and then YouTube. So, you know, there is some loss. Um, yeah, counterintuitive if the gray is on purpose. Weird. Unnecessary. Just leave it black and gray out the things that you can't do. Jerry Herrera. Who is doing their input tech? Yeah, um, the pen is really good on the note-taking. Sha, sha, sha. Very good. And the touches work quite well. But when it comes to touching with the pen on things that aren't Wacom, you know, it triggers like the, the capacitive nature of it. It's strange. It's like you tap it twice. It, it sometimes doesn't work, but your finger works fine. Okay, it's loading the library. That was a bad example. But still, your finger for the most part looks fine and works fine when you click on something with your fingertip. But the pen, it's kind of like what Dasung did recently. If you use the pen on a Dasung to do things that isn't, that aren't, uh, sorry, that is not note taking. It will be like, oh, did you mean to do that? Or were you like, you know, you know, you know, oh, maybe I won't do it. You know what I mean? There's like that, that hesitant, hesitance, hesitation. Yeah. Is hesitance a word? I don't think it is. Uh, let me go to see if Google Play is ready to go yet. It might still be like, oh, this is not certified. Maybe. Okay. It does have Google Play. I'm not going to sign in and everything unless you guys want to see, but we're almost done. Um, yeah, this was a mess this morning. Um, uh, you know what? To be completely honest, in the nicest way possible, I'm happy that it had a little bit of a technical issue on a high read rather than an Amazon. Because if it happened on Amazon, a lot of you guys would be mad. But yeah, what's the processor? Jerry. Jerry, man, you don't know what the processor... I can't believe you don't know what the processor is, man. I, I, I you know, I, I was rooting for you, Jerry. And then you come across with the, 
silly question. Like, everyone knows the processor on this, man. Come on. Come on. I don't know. Hold on. <laughs> I have no idea. What is it? Uh, I'm, I'm like, looking on our site because I don't know. I read gaze. That should show it up. Yeah, it's really weird, uh, Jerry. I don't know why. Here it is. Uh, Michael and his team did a first look. No, I'm joking, man. I, I don't know what the processor is. I'm looking it up. All right, what do we got here? We got a... Uh, oh, there's only 17 LEDs. Okay, I'm not going to be all like, oh, there's only 17 LEDs, but at the same point, yeah, there's only 17 LEDs. That's, that's not a lot. I mean, a lot of manufacturers are using like 35 sometimes. Okay, we got a 1.8 gigahertz quad core processor and three gigs of ram so that's right up there with what the other kind of um uh renewal of these jesitech units are doing so that's it's pretty standard uh that sd card man that's incredible we're gonna talk to high read and we're gonna see if there's something we can do because that was weird how this is discontinued man that doesn't make any sense i mean it makes total sense but um, you know, we'll see if there's something we can, we can do to, to help, you know, put in an order or something like that to, you know, justify making a few more because I would hate to see this just go away. And it came out at the, in the timeline of color where no one has touched color since March and Onyx did color and no one's like, no one was shocked or scared about the fact that Onyx did the Nova Air C and why that is, is because... It's Onyx. No one's going to compete with Onyx. You can't. Another questionable a questionable uh, uh, part to that would be Big Me. Big Me could maybe compete against Onyx with the amount of units they have and the technology they're using. But Onyx released one. They're like, okay, well, there's no competition there because it's too damn good. We can't get there. But if someone like High Re uh, Hisense did it or like Me Book did it, it'd be like, oh, we got to get our unit out. So there was no, but that wasn't the case. High Read had this big gap of no one doing color. Big Me's doing color, but they're doing these big giant 10.3s and stuff and it's not their zone. 7.8 color hasn't been touched since March. And before that, a while since like the A7CC and the, the pocketbook ink pad color. So it's been like a year since anyone did color. And high read was perfect time to strike with this unit. And it's hitting all the right marks. If you didn't hear, it's got note taking. It's got an SD card. It's got color. It's got Google Play. It's got Android 11. 11. Not 8.1. A freaking 11. And then they just... It's all gone. So, yeah. Um, I don't know what's going on with that. Shat. Oh, sat. Shat. Oh, you're saying what? <laughs> I thought you were saying a swear word like, darn it, and then you missed a comma. Okay. What would it take, says MZ, uh, for Kindle and Kobo to embrace color e-ink? Kindle's not going to do it first. There's no way. Amazon doesn't streamline or uh, not streamline they don't trailblaze or innovate anything before anyone else does i've said it every time amazon sits back and waits for other people to do stuff then they copy it and then they do it better usually the way it goes kobo would be the only guys out of the big three barnes and noble amazon and kobo to do it why kobo takes risks does barnes and noble take risks no E-reader, 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 stupid collaboration with Samsung tablet, e-reader, 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 kind of decent collaboration with Lenovo tablet, e-reader, e-reader. Yeah, their e-readers all look different. Yeah, their e-readers all look, you know, some look like a bar of soap. Some just look like they've, someone slapped it together using parts from an old bin. But Kobo takes risks. They did the Sage which has note-taking. They did the Ellipsa, which is a 10.3-inch note-taking device with an active capacitive pen. Why would any one of the big three do that? Amazon, gauging the success of the Ellipsa and the Sage, has put out some polls and said, as per Michael in his news publications sleuthing and uh, quotes that Michael got, actually, that Amazon is actually developing a note-taking unit. But I doubt it's going to be color. 2020 and 2021 were huge for color, but it slowed down like crazy. It slowed down like crazy to the point where something comes out and it gets discontinued in a day. Not a day, but since we got it a day. Color and uh, Hisense, if you remember. What Hisense does, I'll show you guys via notes because, well, we're here with some notes. Uh, Jerry says, those are some sweet specs. Yeah, it's pretty good. And it's, you know, selling point-wise, it's hitting all the right notes. It really is. 
So what Hisense does, if you guys don't know, Hisense makes smartphones. They make uh, cell phones and smartphones. They made the A5, and then they made the A5C. Then they made the A5 Pro. Then they made the A5 Pro CC. The writing is so good on this unit. Seriously, guys. Why did this go away? It's so nice. Then they made the A7. Then guess what they did? The A7CC. So we're like, wow, you guys make, you know, a black and white, a black and white, black and white, and then you make a color, color, color. All right, well, logic says if you're going to make your high sense touch and high reader, uh, where am I? Are, uh, I know how to spell, but high reader is like H Y. High read is H Y read, and the high reader is H I read. If you make your high reader and you make your A nine, it's like, oh sweet, okay, we're gonna get a color, bing bang boom, color of every one of those by high sense. No, touch turned into the touch museum, and the touch light. No color, no color, no color. We're like, okay, well that was <laughs> that was weird. All right, well, okay, but your high reader, your your first dedicated e-reader ever, surely you're gonna make a high reader C. No, you're not just you, you're not you're not just you're not gonna make anything. <laughs> it's like what? You make anything? It's like no, no, I'm gonna make anything. Oh, that's not area erase, it's scrub erase. So they made nothing from the high reader, and it's like okay, okay, all right. Oh, so, <laughs> sorry, love you, love you. I I don't drop e-readers, man. So I'm I'm good. I'm good. So the A9, we're like, okay, A9C for the win. Obviously, you're going to make an A9C. No, they didn't. They made a 4 gigabyte version of the A9. They've completely had zero plans to make any color in this recent generation, in this recent wave of potential color devices. Onyx didn't follow up with a Poke 4 color. They didn't do a... Um, a larger color uh me book hasn't touched color at all zero in fact high read is and they're using the old shells that me book prior to me book boy you was using this aries and they're putting color on it great big me's going ham with color that's a different um that that's a completely different thing you know what i mean and um uh high sense abandoned color altogether so when it comes to color I don't see the big three doing it at all. If the little guys aren't doing it and pocketbook discontinued the pocketbook color, the poke two colors gone. Um, a lot of the, uh, high sense C phones are, uh, discontinued. The a five C is gone. Um, no, no, they're not going to do color. Uh, I don't think if they do, it's going to be a surprise and a half, but they're not going to do color. I'll just guarantee that. Anyways, we're pretty much done. Um, terribly sorry about the, uh, the internet. Oh, 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 MZ comes in. In some interview, Kobo seemed to be taking conservative approach as well, only making new things after consumers express what they need. Yeah, Kobo will put out little things that. Uh, does the backlight count as color? No, it does not. Um, Kobo puts out little things where they kind of gauge what they need to do, but Amazon will basically just wait for other people to straight up release packaged consumer ready products, and then Amazon will do it. Uh, look at look at what they did on this. You know the 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 E came out from Barnes and Noble, e economical approach, cheap. The E came out from Kobo, ecological approach, recycled plastic, and Amazon's like, mm hmm, mm hmm. All right, we'll do ours, and they release the Kindle Basic, and it's recyclable, and it's all that fun stuff. So Amazon will always sit back and wait. Granted, Amazon does innovate some things themselves. We just did a video on the five things that Amazon has done that no other e-reader has. But for the most part, things like glow light, things like touch, things like audio, things like an e-reader in general. Sony predated Amazon by several years. Sony had two gens of stuff before the Kindle was even a thing. So a lot of the time, Amazon will just sit back and wait. So uh, yeah, Kobo does take risks. And yeah, Kobo does kind of do this customer census thing or you know polls and stuff like that but uh they, they'd be the guys to do it barnes and noble is so far away from doing color this is not even close they even got rid of their larger screen e-reader the glow light plus and they made three small e-readers the four the four e and the four pink um so there's no way barnes and noble is gonna do it uh yeah and barnes and noble has the least amount of presence uh 
Kobo is connected to Rakuten, which is an international mega con conglomerate. Um, Amazon is Amazon. They're in literally every country in the world. Not really. Um, and Barnes & Noble has America, and to a very lesser extent, some UK. Uh, I know the live stream isn't about it, but you have to choose between the books Air 2, Air 2 Plus, or the Nova Air C. What would you choose? Uh, that Yeah, you can't do that, because you're kind of saying, like, apple a good apple and then a banana so he kind of went off course there because an air c and a note air plus or air two plus cannot be compared because it's the question of do you need color it's yes or no and if it's yes or no then that's your answer it's immediately your answer if it's things like portability weight uh screen real estate writing feel all those other things then that's a completely different question. So I'm sorry, I really can't answer that. And you're coming to the experts. I'm, I'm sorry, you know, I can't I can't cook, you know, foie gras, but I know e-readers. And if you're asking me about these technical things, I'm going to answer it in a very particular technical way. So you have to narrow down your question very hard. I'm sorry. Thank you guys so much. I'm terribly sorry about the technical uh, issues. We have we haven't had a technical mishap on a live in quite some time i must say yeah quite some time i'm looking at the back end right now i can't remember the last time we had like a malfunction i think we did somewhere around wow it's it's months ago man probably back in like april i think we had a malfunction i think google play wasn't working on something but either way we're usually pretty good at the live so yeah oh uh jerry says yeah i'm really into some features give me another reason to keep it handy with their portable sizes and weight values yeah for sure yeah yeah. Oh, mom, you're too late. Way too late. Yeah. Uh, we had a, um, a late start, but uh, we're already six minutes past where we were supposed to have ended. So yeah, you're too late. Too late. That's okay. I'll message you after. Thank you guys very much. Um, Hi, Reed, up and coming company. Very good products. Weird network of logistics and issues right now to the fact where they just released this unit and it's gone. If you want to buy this, this unit right now that we're showcasing right here, you can't buy it. Uh, you can't buy it and uh that's okay mom and unfortunately uh, oh and good for you guys good for you guys i'm just thinking i don't make the executive decision on this because well i, I can't I can do whatever i want but it's a, i'm a team player and i'll ask the the rest of the um the the office but it's kind of like we don't have any reason to keep this around because if they release a new unit it doesn't really matter that we compare this to that and it's the same screen as the Air C, the exact same screen. So we're not going to do a comparison. I think, unless you guys have any issues, we can give this away on our next contest. You guys like a color e-reader? That'd be pretty badass, actually. I don't think we've... Have we given away a color e-reader before? We gave away that stupid child's shark color thing. My God, did we give? We haven't given a color e-reader away. I'm looking back at TCL. Oh, uh, no, that's a showcase. Oh my God, we're gonna give a color e-reader away, guys. I'm pretty sure it's gonna happen. Okay, if I go here and I if I type in contest, you'll see what's going on. Oh, I missed it. Speaking of contests, we have the Goody Reader raffle right now. We're giving away an Amazon Kindle Paperwhite 5 Signature Edition. If you don't know what the raffles are, we have three different types of contests on Goody Reader. And this is really important, seriously. There's one that it's just you, um, what do you call, uh, just comment and like and subscribe and share a, uh, um, uh, a link. That's it. And it's not even like a weird, some weird referral link. It's our video. Just share it to a social media platform. That's it. Just go click share done and you get free stuff. That's the one. The second one is completely passive. You just watch us unbox some crap and then you get it for free. That one we've already done, I think, eight episodes of that. It's been going really well. And then we have the raffle where we give away more expensive stuff like Sony DPTs, uh, Onyx Books, no Air 2 Pluses and stuff like that. So you can buy raffle tickets for that. Kind of like when you go to your son's or your daughter's baseball game and you go to that shack that has hot dogs and stuff and they're like, do you want a raffle ticket? And have the spindle of those little red tickets and they give you those and it's got a number on it you pay like two bucks or whatever so we have a, a goody reader raffles going on right now so that's really nice it's a really good way to get um it's a really good way to get like uh what do you call it? stuff for basically a fraction of the cost and um it's a and, and why we do it and a lot of you guys you're just doing it to to you know get some money out of it and it's like well yeah i mean 
Sure, we are. We got a lot of operating costs. You know, we've given away hundreds of units. And yeah, this is a way to subsidize and offset the loss of giving you guys away a thousand dollar DPT by maybe recouping two to three hundred dollars of that product. So when we give it to you, it's not as much of a hit, but it's also a good way to give back and, you know, really just pump out as much stuff to the community as we humanly can. And yeah, like uh, we've never done raffles before ever it's only very recently and we've only ever done one out of like 116 things we've given away so yeah it's a way to kind of offset the loss of a massive product and a massive giveaway so yeah thank you guys oh yeah i was gonna check on the amount of um if we've given away a color i'm looking back uh i reader light 2 pro uh we gave away a xiaomi a xiaomi smartwatch i remember that oh oh oh, oh. we gave away a color e-ink note-taking tablet. What's that? Oh, um, we gave away a Big Me. Cool. An S3 color. AJ White won it. Nice. Yeah, so uh, we've, we're doing a lot of contests. We're doing a lot of content, content recently. Pumping out videos. Got a lot of stuff on the plate. Uh, let us know if you guys have any other questions about anything. If you guys want to see anything particular, anything specific, more Amazon stuff. You guys have been digging the Amazon stuff, as I see. Amazon stuff is getting way more uh engagement than anything else on our channel so you know uh we like to do a lot of amazon stuff but yeah i i think i'll just say we'll give this away i mean i i guess we there's no reason for us to keep it around we'll do the review you know we'll do our do our our, our due diligence and do the review and then we will send it away for contest all right thank you guys so much you guys are fantastic sorry about the mishap oh yeah say hi to people hello my mom hello jerry what we got here we got alfonso pato mz la via la via la via la via la via you got uh mz already said that will wilton asukao rodriguez from saludos deste brasil cool bv schaefer steven Thanks, guys. Oh, 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 I got one more question. Man, Alfonso, what are you doing, man? Uh, my question was about usability function, those things, the differences, display, and color. Yeah, they're basically the same, man. They both have the modes. They both have X mode. Oh, the Air C got rid of X mode because it screwed up with the color. Okay, they both have speed modes. Uh, they both have the same pen. Um, it, it is just a question of whether you need color or not. It is. Look at our reviews, see if the screen size uh, is uh, sufficient enough for what you need to do on it. Oh I'm, oh, I'm going out of focus. See if it's good enough for maybe split screen. 7.8s are not good for split screen, so get a 10.3. Watch our reviews. <laughs> Thanks, guys. See you later. See you next time. Bye-bye.